the series of lectures on chemical thermodynamics today i like to give a lecture on this on the very important property of thermodynamics which we call this entropy entropy is can be written as and it could be split up into two terms and this one is called in and this uh, trophy means a uh, transformation transformation means uh, this property is having a or this uh, property could be related with the tendency of the system in transformation from one state to another or i can say this entropy will form a best criteria or a good criteria for the system to move from one state to another state spontaneously by itself with its own accord and this uh, entropy is a very important property in thermodynamics and its symbol is s i say in planetary system a sun is the main object around which all the planets are revolving so in thermodynamics also i can say the entropy is the main property with which every other thermodynamic properties or thermodynamic variables are connected either this way or that way so important is the property playing in thermodynamics playing an important role in thermodynamics first law introduces the internal energy and the second law gives the introduction of this entropy and these two internal energy and the entropy these two are the main fundamental properties of thermodynamics other other thermodynamic properties are derived from this two properties and actually clausius introduced this term in thermodynamics we know in second law there are various uh, statements various statements depending on the nature of the processes and you say heat uh, flows from hot temperature or regarding the heat flow process temperature plays an important role or in the flow of water the level height of this level plays an important role or in case of this chemical reaction occurs spontaneously in that case also the chemical in case of chemical reaction so occurring spontaneously here the chemical potential also plays a very important role the the various statements of this cycle of thermodynamics are tried to bring in under one umbrella bring under one umbrella actually clausius unified all the statements of the second law of thermodynamics in terms of the entropy it would be clear whenever i shall give a physical meaning or physical interpretation of this entropy entropy measures this randomness of this system 
and you know and in our direct uh, from our direct experience we can see a system is always uh, trying to move from this less randomness to more randomness less chaotic system to more chaotic system or more orderliness to this lay to less orderliness so if we consider these two states of the system say this is the initial state initial state of the system and and it is the uh, final state of the system final state of the system and the system will move spontaneously by itself of its own accord from this less randomness from the state of less randomness to the state of a more randomness if randomness is measured by entropy then then it may be s1 suppose the entropy of this initial state and it is the entropy of this uh, final state so uh, randomness these two terms these two terms so this entropy of s1 s2 will decide whether the process will occur or in which direction the process will occur or to what extent the process will occur just like the other statements of this second law of thermodynamics if s1 and s2 are not equal then the process will occur spontaneously if a s2 is s2 is a greater than s1 then the process will move from this initial state to final state spontaneously and you see the every 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 way every, anywhere you can see such type of randomness increasing for this spontaneous process i can set one example suppose one teacher is taking his class in a classroom with this with the students students are sitting silently keeping you know their positions in order and attentively listening this lecture of this teacher if we consider the classroom as the system then the entropy of that classroom or entropy of that system is a minimum this is not the favorable state this is not the desired state of this classroom whenever the teacher goes out of this classroom the students started creating noise students become some more chaos they are moving or they are loitering within this class here and there they are talking very loudly with the students and the chaotic condition or this randomness of this class will be increasing so this is the law of this nature everywhere any system is trying to go for more randomness and you say the entropy will increase it means entropy uh, suppose entropy 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 will increase
whenever the process occurs spontaneously and and then the entropy attains a maximum attains a maximum whenever entropy attains maximum the process will stop and the system attains the equilibrium so whenever it is increasing means a delta s is greater than zero and when s is maximum then delta s equal to zero so it is the condition for the system to go spontaneously or tends to go spontaneously in which this entropy is increasing and then whenever it uh, entropy becomes maximum randomness becomes maximum then entropy change equal to zero this process attains equilibrium and and the process it means that this process will stop all these things for the system is valid for this isolated system in which there is no surrounding around the system but whenever we consider the other systems then not only the entropy of the system but also entropy of the surrounding has to be considered in that case the entropy of the system plus entropy of the surrounding means entropy of this universe will be increasing and entropy of this universe we can call the net entropy in this case the net entropy will go on increasing so this in that case whenever we are considering the systems other than isolated systems in that case the delta s system plus the delta s surrounding equal to delta s universe universe and this one will be greater than or equal to zero great this inequality sign occurs so whenever the cis process occurring spontaneously and equal to zero whenever the process attains equilibrium we can nicely explain or give the statement of the first law and second law in terms of this internal energy and entropy or the total energy and entropy you know in nature various processes are occurring spontaneously and and whenever this process are processes are occurring spontaneously entropy of this universe entropy of this universe entropy of this universe is increasing entropy or net entropy increasing so i can state i can i can now give a, the statements of the first law and second law in different ways in case of a first law whenever we consider the first law first law total net entropy net uh, energy of the universe is fixed or constant or conserved and the second law its statement will be the net entropy of 
the universe tends to be increasing. So these are the very two nice statements of this first law and second law in terms of this total energy and total or net entropy entropy of this universe. Now I like to give the concept of entropy, how the entropy could be measured, how this entropy uh, can realize in our real life. Say concept of entropy, the concept of entropy. And the concept of entropy we can we can explain in different ways. But it is better to explain by means of a Carnot engine. Say Carnot engine here, I can write this Carnot engine here V and here P and this uh, there are four processes and all these four processes are uh, reversible. And it is A and B, C and D. This is isothermal reversible expansion at this temperature T and the heat is taken, Q heat is taken by this engine, by this cycle and BC is adiabatic reversible expansion. All these steps are reversible and here it is the isothermal reversible compression at this temperature T dash and, and the heat rejected by this engine is Q dash and it is again the adiabatic compression adiabatic compression. Adiabatic compression. So this is the rough sketch of this Carnot cycle. If we consider one term and the term is the heat change reversibly divided by the temperature at which the heat change occurs. This term, if we consider this term, For, for A to C via B, say A to A to C via B. So this uh, A to B and this uh, this heat change reversibly by temperature we can write in short Q reversible by T equal to A to B heat taken at a constant temperature and this is the uh, T and this is the adiabatic process so no heat change occurs so this is equal to 0 so Q by T and uh, if we consider between the two states to definite states A to C via D then Q reversible 
by t equal to here here a to d zero plus here q dash and divided by t dash. So this one also equal to q dash by t dash. But Carnot engine the efficiency I already shown efficiency equal to one by one minus q by q dash q dash by q or it it are equal to one minus t dash by t. This is valid for the Carnot engine and this is for any engine. If we this one also taken this uh, Carnot engine then it will be the same and so this one will also be the same means uh, q dash by q equal to t dash by t or you can say the q by t equal to q dash by t dash. This is the conclusion obtained from this efficiency of this uh, Carnot engine. So in this case this one, this one, these two are equal. What does it mean? This property, heat change reversibly by temperature, this term is fixed between the two definite states, whether it is going from, going through B or going through D. Means this one, this one, this term will be this term will be a difference of a certain fundamental property which does not depend on the path it depends on the state it will be same in between the two definite states whatever the path may be or in Another, another thing I can also show that uh, another, another way, say suppose integration of this Q reversible Yt for the whole cycle, then this will be equal to A to B, this Q by T and B to C plus zero adiabatic process and C to D heat is rejected so minus Q dash by T dash and D to A again it is equal to zero so this one equal to Q by T minus Q dash by T dash and these two are equal so this is equal to zero means a cyclic process for the cyclic process this term Q heat change reversibly by temperature at which the heat change occurs this term certainly the difference of some fundamental property and that fundamental property we call this entropy or actually Clausius called it entropy and this entropy is a state function and the entropy is a state function as this and this one equal to zero for the cyclic process not only that the entropy change between the two definite states will be the same irrespective of this part so by this way we can get an idea about our concept about this entropy so this one can be taken as this d s where s is the entropy and difference of entropy is given by this one so this is the this is the Clausius uh, definition how to calculate the entropy change of a process and uh, and if we calculate if we try to calculate the entropy change of a process then this definition of calculations could be utilized say so d is equal to q reversible by t if 
the exchange occurs at constant t at constant t it will be remembered that it is only the heat change in a reversal process it is not the heat change in irreversal process or other processes and and d d and del s you can write and de, for this uh, for this whenever the heat change occurs at different temperatures then del it is equal to q reversible by t or or you can say this is a q1 by t1 plus a q2 by t2 plus a q3 by t t3 means a q1 the heat change occurs at this t1 q2 at this t2 q3 at this t3 and and so on and or it could be written as integration as the process is reversal the temperature is changing continuously so this will be the q reversible by t between the two temperatures say here the t1 or uh, here the t2 initial temperature and final we i can i can give some give two examples uh, for this here in this case so the if heat change occurs at a different temperature different t i can set some examples for the calculations of this entropy calculation calculation of entropy when a when heat change occurs at a constant temperature at constant t a bright example is that one more ice at a 0 degree centigrade and one atmosphere pressure giving this one mole water liquid water at 0 degree centigrade same temperature same pressure same pressure here it is s1 it is s2 and here it is entropy change del s this process Though this process is uh, not reversible, but we can say the environment from which you know the heat is required for this ice uh, from or for the change of order of that state. But if we consider the surroundings from which this heat change occurs, very small amount of heat is uh, taken by this one mole of ice. to form one mole of water very small amount of heat change or heat is supplied to the ice so that the temperature change in this case is very small infinitely small this means that the surrounding and this system both are differ temperature of of both are uh, differ by infinite decimal amount so then we can say it is the reversible process so for this reversible process this uh, this uh, del s we can write the q reversible by t and temperature is 273 kelvin and what is the heat uh, given to this ice and this is the endothermic process an endothermic process so say one mole into 18 18 uh, gram mole inverse into 
this 80 calorie gram inverse divided by the temperature 273 Kelvin. So you can see mole, mole inverse cancels and gram, gram inverse cancels. So this will be equal to this will be equal to this 5.27 5.27 calorie Kelvin inverse. Actually this is called the entropy unit energy by by Kelvin temperature maybe joule per Kelvin here it is calorie per Kelvin you can convert this uh, calorie into joule by multiplying it with 4.18 conversion factor so this is the heat change occurs at constant uh, temperature so second one when 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 heat change occurs at a different temperatures different temperatures in this case say one mole water at 27 degrees centigrade and one atmospheric pressure and it is be heated up one mole water at 20 37 degrees centigrade and one atmosphere pressure and what will be the entropy change it is s1 it is s2 in this case also this one is positive delta s is positive means S2 is greater than S2, S2 is greater than S1. This indicates that in, in ice are, and in water, in both the cases, the randomness of the molecules are not same. The randomness in water is much more greater than the randomness of the size. So the system tends itself for this less randomness to more randomness less uh, uh, more orderliness to less orderliness so as if it seems that the randomness is the criteria for this natural processes so for this uh, problem also we can show by this process the randomness will increase here, here the calculations will be like that. Calculations. Delta S equal to integration Q reversible by T. This is T1 to T2. It would be better if we can add D. But uh, Q is not the state function, not perfectly differential quantity, and so D I am reluctant to add. Otherwise, we can write this D and also cross, means it is not perfectly differential. But here I write only the Q reversal by T, and this one equal to for one mole this uh, N, the formula NCP uh, DT and this is the Q reversible CP is the molar heat capacity at constant pressure for water and, to, and it is the temperature change and N number of moles and divided by T if we consider here the CP is independent of temperature. CP does not depend on temperature. Then, then NCP, you can take it outside of the integration. Here P1, T2 and, and DT by T. CP 
I have given instead of CV, and this uh, this is occurring at constant pressure. So this one will give you this N C P uh, ln T uh, two y T one, and this is equal to the delta S and to be changed for this uh, for this uh, process for this process. If we now calculate this one, then del S equal to N means one mole, one mole have been taken into CP for water it is 18 calorie and mole inverse Kelvin inverse. It is the unit of this is CP. CP and CV and R both are having this same same unit. Calorie, mole inverse, Kelvin inverse, 18. And this one into LN T2 means 310 Kelvin and T1 300, 300 Kelvin. And so mole, mole inverse cancels, Kelvin, Kelvin inverse cancel. So this one is equal to, this one is equal to, Zero point five nine. Zero point five to nine calorie Kelvin inverse. This is the entropy unit. Entropy unit. So if this is also positive. Means S two is greater than S one. With the rise in temperature, the randomness of the molecules are also increased. Actually these are valid. The randomness criteria for the spontaneity of a process is valid only for this isolated system. If the for this non-isolated system then the entropy change of the surroundings have to be calculated and to be added with this entropy change of this system and to find the entropy change of this universe. So, these are the two examples to show how to calculate the change in entropy for the system into definite states. So, it is clear that absorption of heat Whenever heat is being absorbed, in both the cases heat being absorbed, entropy will increase. But if there occurs a evolution of heat or rejection of heat from this system, then entropy will decrease. And a very important one for this adiabatic, for a reversible, a reversible adiabatic process, reversible adiabatic process process there is no heat change so del s equal to q reversible by t and this one equal to zero q reversible equal to zero that means that means entropy remains a constant constant for this change. If, if the system changes its state from state 1 to state 2, then entropy will not change. Entropy remains fixed and this is why this process is called isen, isentropic. Isentropic process. This is called the isentropic process. We can, we can show the Carnot engine in this light. Say this is the Carnot engine. Here V, here P. Usually this this car becomes more familiar to us. 
here A, B, C and D. Here it is coming this way and this way. If we try to draw here Q amount of heat is uh, taken by this engine at this temperature T and Q dash amount of heat is rejected by this engine at this temperature T dash. So if we draw this uh, Carno engine in terms of this uh, temperature and entropy diagram side by side I can show here it is the temperature and here it is entropy. In terms of this PV, we are using this TS diagram. So first step is the isothermal step. A heat is being absorbed. So heat is being absorbed uh, means heat is being absorbed means entropy is increasing. But uh, but uh, temperature remains the same. So this curve will be starting from here, it will go like this, entropy is increasing and this one is A, this one is B, this one can be given the term say suppose a T and S1 and here this coordinate T remains the same and, and the S2 is the entropy of this uh, of this B. Now the second step B2C. In case of a B2C, the entropy is equal to entropy constant, but a temperature adiabatic expansion temperature falls. Temperature falls. Temperature decreases. Temperature decreases to T dash. So this uh, curve will be like this one. Entropy fixed, entropy fixed and temperature is decreasing for this B to C. And so it is C. You can write this temperature T as temperature is decreased and entropy remains the same as two. So from this to this. And then this one. There is a rejection of a heat, a Q dash from this system, so entropy will decrease. Entropy will decrease in this case. Again, for this step, for this step D to C, entropy will decrease, but temperature remains the same. So entropy decreased and temperature remains the same. This will be this curve like this. And this is the, suppose this is D. And D curve, the coordinate is T dash and, and S1. And S1. As the entropy is decreased from S2 to S1. Then the last step, DA. DA, in case of a DA, the again entropy, entropy uh, remains the same. Isentropic process, reversible adiabatic process, isentropic process, entropy remains fixed. And temperature, adiabatic compression, so temperature is increased. So temperature is increased. So this will be this one. So this, uh, this curve enclosed curves it seems to be a rectangle seems to be a rectangle and these are the coordinates of these are four points if we like to calculate this area area of this rectangle area area of area of the rectangle or the enclosed area by this uh, curves, it will be equal to, it will be equal to the product of the two arms and this is uh, say BC into, into say AB, BC into AB. So BC, 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 B, here it is S2, here it is 
here, here S2 remains the same, here T and T dashed, so it will be T minus T dashed. It is the value of this BC. And this AB, AB, here temperature remains the same, here S2, here S1. So this, uh, it will be AB equal to S2 minus S1. So this area, area I can, I can say, area of this en enclosed curves equal to uh, T minus T rest into del S. And this is equal to T del S minus T dash del S. And this one, T del S equal to T del S equal to Q. We know that del S for this step equal to Q by Q by Q by T. So T del S equal to Q and similarly this one will be equal to Q dash and this is equal to the work done by this engine. So the enclosed area signifies the work done by this engine. Now one thing I can say and this will be the last of today's lecture. Entropy is related with this randomness. It is our direct experience. And whenever there occurs randomness in your personal life, in your family, in your society, in your country, in the world, the available work for doing is useful work, the useful energy for doing work must decrease. Means entropy increase is a measure of this unavailable energy and it creates randomness and the, it is the randomness of this molecules or the systems which prevents some part of this energy taken by the system to be unavailable for doing useful work. Let us simply explain by the use of this Carnot engine. This is why I prefer always this Carnot engine various various top concept we can easily explain by the use of this Carnot engine. Say here we have this Q by already shown this is equal to Q dust by T dust and you see for Carnot uh, this is the HTR HTR at this temperature T and here this engine or Carnot engine and, and here it is LTR and this temperature T dash. Q amount of heat is taken, given to this engine. It is doing this some useful work, mechanical work and the rest amount of heat is reacted to this sink, heat, heat sink, which is LTR at lower temperature. So whatever the heat you, we are giving to this engine, engine is not capable of converting this uh, total heat into total total heat into work some part of this uh, heat is being thrown off to this heat sink so the, in this case by this simple example we can show this uh, q dust is the unavailable energy unavailable energy for doing useful work useful work and so here q dash equal to t dash into q by t q by t so whatever the heat we are uh, giving to this engine for doing work, this part, this engine fails to do the mechanical work, to convert mechanical work. So this one, this one again at T dash into whenever Q amount of heat is given to this engine at this temperature T, this one is taken 
the entropy change of the system by this intake of uh, this uh, heat. So this, uh, this, uh, the product of the two will give you the unavailability. If a T dash, suppose if a T dash is decreased at which this we require the unavailable energy, T dash is decreased, then also Q dash also decreased. Q whenever Q dash is decreased, this W equal to Q minus Q dash. Q dash decreased means that W is increased. The system is doing more work. So this, so the unavailable energy at this temperature T dash is equal to the product of this temperature and the entropy change of the system for this intake of water, for the intake of this heat from this HTR. It is the, this measures the randomness of the system. And this randomness of the system prevents the engine for doing the complete conversion of heat into work. So we shall we shall see the product of these two is the energy term, and the product of the two will give you the unavailable energy or not useful are not spent for this useful work and it is only due to the randomness of the system. If you have more and more randomness in your own life, you cannot do much useful work in your life. So if you like to study or if you like to do anything positively, then you have to keep your life keep your family, keep your society as far as less randomness or less chaotic or more orderliness. So the randomness is the, to create this randomness is the criteria of this nature and it occurs spontaneously. This is all about this concept of uh, concept of this entropy, part one. And ne my next class, I shall try to discuss how to calculate the entropy change for a, a reverse, various reversible processes. And that is all. Today's lecture. Thank you all who are watching this video. If you like, then please subscribe. Thanks.